Hi folks, so welcome to the next video and today we're going to be covering something that I've been waiting for for so long. Bear in mind it's not big at the moment but I will try to do an updated video when it does get to adult stage. But today it's another one we've ordered and it's from Mantis Marvels again. I'll pop the links in below but yeah this is from Claire again. I did get a box of these and pre-recorded the videos so this is the second part to that. They've all come packaged great. Now, I will get her out and do some little macro shots with her and maybe a bit of video. Um, <laughs> she's been a bit <laughs> OTT. Yeah, we've had her out and then she's jumped and pretending to be dead, you know, as they do. So this is something we're going to have a look at. It's something I've been looking forward to. It's something I've never had before. So we'll go over some information that I've been told. Um, also stuff that I've researched through my books and looking online and we'll go from there. Hi folks, so we're back and I can't wait for this one to get to an adult. It's like, they're like a mixture between like two or three different mantises and then they've got the big eyes when they get to an adult and all them weird features and dark and they look like something out of like what you'd expect to see at Halloween, like a horror movie or something. So in them old movies, remember when they used to have like them like black and white movies, 1920s or whatever they were, and you'd see one going, Aah! and you'd see this like, like one of them, in any case, just me being a bit of a goofball, sorry. In any case, temperature wise, 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, that's what they need to be kept in the day. Now, I have seen that they can drop to about 18 degrees at night. Some of the time I wouldn't do, I'd drop it to about 20 if needed to be. Now, humidity wise, 40 to 80%. I have got a bioactive setup that's about 55 to 60%, that's what it's holding, and it will be going in there when it's an adult. Uh, spraying wise, the best way to do it from what I've been told is to spray the side of the closure every other day, and you want that mist to be disappearing. If it's not disappearing after a long period of time, then you know you're gonna have an issue with your ventilation, which I'll go over in a minute or actually your heat source, you could be using like a cheap thermostat, which I'm not knocking to do with it, but sometimes they don't give an accurate reading, so it's something you need to look into. Now, something I need to go into, and I'm sorry to be so riled about this and I'm trying to help people and this is what I'm here for but for all you idiots out there who know what you're doing like on TikTok or maybe you don't know what you're doing and you think you're telling other people what to do bad information guys and girls really really sucks and it gets on my nerves it riles me up I don't want to say the words in this YouTube video because kids watch it but yeah you can imagine what I'm thinking so if you're keeping mantises in one of these and just putting netting on the top don't bother, for God's sake. It's like, get a grip. <laughs> Cross ventilation is important in a lot of the species and especially the one I've seen doing it on TikTok. Uh, I'm surprised it isn't even dead. It wouldn't surprise me if you're just buying a new mantis every couple of months just to make sure out it's got to adulthood. Any case, enough of that because it really gets me out of the simple ways your 32 ounce dally insect cups that you can get sometimes they come with a fabric on the lid just pop a few little tiny holes in with a pen on the top just through the, the thingy and on the side just pop a few from the inside out with a pen job done i got out of storage tubs i put vents in from ebay it cost me 25p for the vents three pound for the top it's all locks in bit of netting over the top netting over the side of the vents when you drilled them that's another option Another thing you could do, I had a pound biscuit tubs, about so big, you know, I can't tell you on camera, a bit bigger, big enough for a big mantis, and you could put a vent in the top of that with the same idea with meshing across, or you could just completely open it with just mesh on the top and then two vents in the side with meshing on. 
there's so many other options than using glass jars because it just isn't viable in my opinion. I'm so sorry to say, but if you're gonna do it, don't do it. Now, likewise as well, using exoterras like I do, some people have issues too. My adults have always been in there, I've always put them in there when they're adults. I've never had any issues, but heating source, if using an exoterra and using a thermostat, try to get a dimming thermostat. I've found over a long period of time, and I've been doing this a long time, as well as reptiles, which I don't do no more, is when it gets to the temperature and the light period, blink, 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 it kind of stresses the light and it turns off. As you've got dimming thermostat, it kind of just lowers it and lowers it and lowers it so it's not clicking on and off in the summer months. You get a bit more life out of your light. There's also other options. I've got the Exoterra ceramic bulb holders and you can get a stand where you can move them up and down, which just you can have a glue on, half screw it onto the side. And that's what I'm going to be doing with the acrylic tanks. What I'm going to do is be having six acrylic tanks um, from another vendor and then just having three lights and they are going to be staggered over two tanks. And then you can hire them depending on your species. And there's lots of options out there. Heat mats is something I don't use. I know there's like heat strips, it's something I don't use only because um, obviously I know a lot of breeders of boas and uh, different snakes, you know, like in reptiles and seeing some horror stories with heat mats and even with firm stats, it's just, I'm not saying as they're not safe, it's just something personally I don't like, there's better options out there and uh, personally myself, if you were keeping a lot of mantises and you've got a dedicated clothes off for you, um, unless there is some Pacific that needed a very high heat, like your Devil's Mantis, you could probably use an oil heater to heat the whole room um, in the winter months and obviously the summer months at night. It's just finding that right temperature. There's so many other options. Um, so guys, have a think about it. If you're going to have a Mantis and you're not sure on its care needs, speak to the people who breed them. them. Them are the people who know what they're doing. Like Claire, you speak to her. I've had the Mantis off here. I've asked her some information. I've had a look found some stuff myself and it's pretty much close to and these are the people are what can I say they're like an encyclopedia they basically know a lot about them they've had a mantis not just from like an adult and bred it they've hatched them they've kept them from nips they know how to ship them you know and they're doing this every day in and out and they will see mistakes and things that happened more than what you would do as one mantis so always speak don't be afraid to ask that's what they're there for whether it's through facebook whether it's through the email message them if you've got any concerns 10 years later hi folks so we're back and we're all calm now sorry about that well something else i want to cover as well just in this little video i've got myself one of these yes you wouldn't be what it is i actually use this for me fishing for taking like selfies with a little button that comes out here and it works through bluetooth and i'm trying to pull it out but yeah so what I've been using this for is I've been doing some TikTok videos, you know, little short videos of Mantises just to drive a bit more traffic through to here. I've been quite enjoying it, it's a bit like um, hard to get used to at first, but I'm getting there. Anyway, don't forget if you like the video, give us a like. Don't forget to share, subscribe and hit that notification button to keep up to date with the videos. Thanks guys, see you in the next one. <laughs>